am back again with another video for you. So, um, you've seen me couponing, you've seen my deals, you've seen me, you know, post about my deals, and I've been posting a lot with, um, food-related stuff lately, and so when I go couponing at Walgreens and stuff, I do basically the digital deals and digital coupons, and I pick up at the curbside, and what that does sometimes is it actually accrues what's called Walgreens cash, and so I've gotten quite a bit of Walgreens cash saved up, and I'm going to challenge myself today to see if I can go into Walgreens. Now, I'm talking about going into Walgreens and seeing what I can get in Walgreens food-wise um, and using what I can clip for coupons or using like the My Walgreens. If you sign up for My Walgreens, you get these special deals. And so each time you go in and you do one of these deals and you purchase stuff, you can get more Walgreens cash and stuff. So I'm going to try to use that Walgreens cash to get lunch and dinner for four people. Now, I'm going to try my best to make them substantial enough for four people to feel like they're satiated. And I am not going for deals or anything like that, really. I am going to try to maximize by using the flyer and whatnot. Um, maximize my buck, for lack of a better way of saying it. And try to get, like I said, two meals lunch and dinner for four people from my Walgreens reward cash. So I am going to go to the Walgreens app or the website and show you what I have for cash. So let's go see what I have available to shop with. Okay, and here I am on my computer. I just wanted to show you that I'm at the Walgreens app. Well, the Walgreens site. And this right here is my account. And that is what I have available for Walgreens cash. And so I'm going to try to use up some of that today and um, see what we can get. So just wanted to show you what I was starting with. And then when I purchased, we'll see what I've ended with. Okay, so I've brought up the Walgreens website here and you can see that there's like a little thing here that if you, you can earn up to $30 if you spend a hundred, um, you can earn $5 if you spend 20. So I'm actually going to try to spend, not earn this time around. I'm sure I won't have any trouble getting that um, in there. I might have already used this this week. I think I might have already gotten that this week, and that's why my total for is thirty dollars on my Walgreens cash. Um, but anyway, so these are the things that are in the flyer for this week: buy one get one free Pepsi products. Um, there's buy one and Coke products, um, chips. There's some pistachios on this page. Let's see. Let's go to the next page. Here's the foods here. There's some drinks. There's some cereal. And oh, there's the tuna fish and stuff. So we've got now we've got actual food products. There's some sausages available because they do have refrigerated and a frozen section. So there's some ground beef on sale. Buy one, get one free condiments. That's not a bad pantry filler if you're in need of something like that. There's down here, you can buy some chips and some Coke products and you can get a dollar off. It looks like, let me see if I can get in this faster. Yes, you can get like a dollar off from an online coupon um, and then buy these things here. And that's kind of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of my online coupons um, and see what I can get to do this challenge. So with me that being said, I'm gonna head to Walgreens. Okay, so we've just pulled out into traffic and we are headed to Walgreens. Now, let me tell you, the ride is intense. I hope you guys will stick around for the whole thing because, well, we're here. 
like legit that's how close I am now I'm just waiting to turn into Walgreens it's right here right there right there all right so here we are we're pulling into Walgreens right now and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna see what we can get at the Walgreens here we are pulling in right now and I very rarely ever go in here. Usually I'm doing pickups, so the gals are going to be like, what are you doing inside? But I very rarely ever go in unless I have something like I, uh, like, um, like a register reward or something to cash in. But here we are. We're at Walgreens. Let's go in and see what they got. All right. The food stuff is, this is the snacky aisle. But this is where it starts. So we're going to see what we can get to uh, feed four people for just a little bit at Walgreens. What do you guys think? This is all the beer. This is more snack. Oh, that's the candy aisle. We don't want the candy aisle. We don't need the alcohol aisle. And here's like where all the shelf stable stuff is. But let's check out the refrigerated section first and see what they've got. So there's some appetizers, buy one, get one half off. So that would be $4.79 for two things of mozzarella sticks. Those are always cool. There's Hot Pockets, uh, buy one, get one half off. Bagel Bites, two for four. Pizzas, two for 10. Um, let's see, they have French fries. There's the beef. There's that, and then more frozen stuff over here, snacky stuff. So that's what they've got for refrigerated frozen stuff. So let's see what we can do. I'll go down the uh, other aisles. All right, so this is some of their shelf-stable stuff that they have. I'm gonna go down that aisle and see what there is. Cheese sauce, picante, hamburger helper. That might be a choice. There's some ramen down there. Some pizza crusts. There's three in there for $3.79. That would be a little bit over a buck a pop for, for that. We've got all the taco-y type stuff up here. You could do some sort of I'm going to be making shepherd's pie at some point in time. I like the looks of that ham. That would be a good breakfast, or I mean, well, a lunch item. And we have peanut butter. There's the Skippy and the Jif. Mayo. There's tuna fish. Some of it was on sale. Five for... $4. It doesn't look like they have a lot of that left. Um, applesauce. And then we have like more baking type stuff down here. So that's basically what there is. So let's see if you can make a choice with that. Right? Let's see what we can do. All right. We're going to turn off the video and we're going to get to shopping. Okay, guys. I just walked out of Walgreens. That was a pretty good uh, show. Um, I am going to, I'm still here in the parking lot and I just wanted to show you that I have shopped and give you a quick look at the recipient. I'm going to see if I can flip my camera around here somehow. I might have to do it, um, in a different clip. Let me, let me do that now. Okay. Got you all flipped around. Um, so we're at Walgreens and I'm just going to scan this whole thing so you can see what I got see what the prices were there right there is $24.15 with taxes it was $24.37 but look at that I was able to use my cash rewards for $20 and I paid with $5 in cash and got 53 cents in change that I still have $10.48 available on my Walgreens so that I can still use that for deals but guess what else I got so if I spend $25 or more I'll get this $7 off of an order 
that I have to use in store. And again, so when I spend $15, I'll be able to use this Walgreens cash reward. So because of what I bought today, used by Walgreens cash, they're actually gonna give me more when I come in and spend more. So if I spend $25, I'll save seven, or I'll get five, I'll get seven more on my thing. So when I spend 25 on my next purchase, I'll get that and $5 on my $15 next purchase, but I have to do that within seven days. So I also got those rewards back as well. And I don't always utilize those, but I use the ones that earn me Walgreens cash, but that's right there what I look, what I got as far as like price wise goes. And there's my bag of goods. So let's go home and put it on the counter and show All you right. what we got. So this is what we got. We got a loaf of wheat bread two pounds of ground beef frozen, three things of Pringles, two appetizers, so we've got mozzarella sticks and jalapeno poppers, two things of angel hair pasta with herb, and a thing of spaghetti sauce. So my thought behind all of this was lunch and dinner for four people. So one is going to be one of these packages of hamburger with some of the bread for making what we call toasty toasty burgers. Basically, you just make some toast, you make a slab of hamburger, you know, and um, make a make a burger with it. Put it on your toast, and then chips to go with that. So that would be the lunch, okay? And then we have a dinner here. Um, I figured that the appetizers could go with either or, so I guess the people could choose whether they wanted to have some mozzarella sticks to go with their lunch or poppers or whatever, but I thought that this right here would be a little bit better of a, a more filling dinner. Lunch just usually is lighter fare, so that's the chips and the burger. And this, ground up the ground, you scramble up the ground beef, add it to your sauce. You have these appetizers, and we have this pasta. I probably could have gotten um, a different pasta, like a spaghetti or something like that. But I thought that this was two for four dollars, and I had a coupon, and I was using my rewards, so I figured, what the heck? And this way, we could do one and save one for another time. Possibly, we don't need to do all of the pasta, especially if we're having this. And it was just better off to buy two for four. And this actually gets me another meal for another time for two people um, or four people. Because this right here is supposed to be able to serve, I think, two pe four people. Let's see. Oh, it says two and a half. That's why I got four. That's why I got two of them. It was two and a half servings. I'm sorry. So basically, I would put both of them, and there would be leftovers for somebody to have. So I figured that right there would be uh, the second meal. So that right there is my challenge from Walgreens, using my rewards to be able to provide lunch and dinner for four people off of my Walgreens rewards. So basically I spent $4 in cash and um, I got all of this for $4 in cash because of Walgreens rewards. That's not a bad deal. So that's pretty much a dollar for each person for two meals. So that's 50 cents a meal. So lunch will be 50 cents and dinner will be 50 cents. And that's what it cost me for cash. And obviously I'm not going to be making it today because you know what I'm going to be making, burgers and pasta. So I won't be cooking any of this stuff up today, but I just wanted to show you what you could do with your couponing and being able to help feed your family for pennies um, with the couponing. And so there you go, burgers and chips. And we're having an Italian with appetizers for dinner at some point in time. And that's kind of cool two pounds of meat from walgreens uh because i was buying toilet paper so there you go